All right, here we go. Got like a 105 practice. I want to see if I can that or at least replicate it. Got a 107.53 yesterday, which is, you know, the current record is a 114, but I got it like twice in that run. And I know I can do better than that because I have done it in the past. I don't really want to submit a run that's not the best thing I know I can do. I'm just going to keep running this until I can beat that uh, that 107.53 up there and not die. not going to kill that last one because it drops a secret level. And one of the key ways you can control how much time this, thing, this game takes rather, is not going to secret levels. Uh, the world record run does in order to get a really good shield near the beginning of the game. But actually, the route it takes goes straight to a secret level from this one. But I'm not going to do that. I don't think I need that shield. Of course, I, right after I say that, I get hit. But, whatever. I can live with that. This game is pretty forgiving of uh, mistakes you don't draw running into things that you can't kill. If you run into something that you can't kill, you just stay on top of it, and the game doesn't push you out of it or anything, and you just die. And that's an issue a lot in episode four. But, and episode two, uh, Sojin and episode two, I die there all the first time. I shouldn't be, it's a really straightforward kind of boring match. Level. This happens to be a straightforward, boring, obnoxious level that ah. Okay, I don't know what I was on menu-wise in that other run wanted to restart the level and grab the Sonic Wave. It's not going to be available for, um, until after the first rear weapon power-up. And I do want to grab that first rear weapon power-up, which I can't do if I don't have a rear weapon. I'd actually try to get the... I think there's one in this level. I never got it in practice, so I always forgot that it was there. But it's gonna be... Oh, no, it's not those guys. Or maybe I just have to not play them. Sometimes in practice I get a generator uh, right out of this level, but this run, I'm gonna hold off on that little bit. I know I've done that faster before, but it's a fraction of a second. And I'm not worried about fractions of a second. I'm worried about that. I'm also worried about... Oh, uh, crap. Okay, I still have three plasma storms. And okay, that boss dies to three plasma storms. No menu until after delegation. This level is really hard on harder difficulties because those orange bullets actually do a lot of damage, but it's not harder difficulties. And actually, I heard that. I don't know if this is true or not. I haven't gone over the open screen source, and I'm not actually very good at this. But I heard that. Um, the game scales how much damage enemies can take based on how many points you have. So, just for fun, I'm going to try not trying to optimize my points in this level and 
that was a good oh well. So I'm not going to kill any blimps or any of that. Because the boss of this level has to be like power. Sometimes drops to six plasma storms, sometimes others. And I don't know why. So, maybe if I just let all this stuff be, don't get as many points as I would in your game. Guys, are dead. But if you just hide in the bottom left corner of the screen, they don't bother. So let's see what happens. I didn't kill any blimps. And okay. Wanna die here about this level. So, I don't know if, I don't think there's a way to skip this level or anything, I think the splits just don't have, a uh, split point. Now I'm gonna go back to collecting points, it didn't seem to make much of a point there. I'm going to here so I can plasma all this crap. Okay, I should probably get a generator at some point. This thing is not doing so hot. Whoops. Some of these things, the blue things, will just sit in the bottom right corner of the screen. Probably you don't kill them. I try to kill those guys really quickly. That one. That one would have just sat on that little trap. Generally, a lot worse than that. So, shooting and replenishing shields, and I think also replenishing um, side weapons, which in this run is just going to be plasma storm, there's no reason to use anything else. That all takes uh, power from your generator, and if you run out of power, you can't do it anymore. And I like being able to shoot at stuff. Stuff is shooting at me. I like being able to replenish my shield. It's shield you can replenish an armor. And I do need to kill these green balls. They count as uh, part of the boss. As you can see. There we go. Right, chip there we go. And new shield. And behind my earlier run, by 10 seconds, 30 minutes. Now we're down to that. Eventually, I think this game will get to the point where people will care about crashing in seconds, but it's not there yet. I just want to get my 1 to 5. And after this level, I have uh, a little more menu view. I get another plasma storm. That's the first place that appears in a level that you go to on the main path. And I'm 
I want to upgrade my weapon. That's not the boss. Because, off the next level, has two pages. You can just like, drop the flag for all the one page bosses. Most of the one page bosses in this game. You guys spend a little time being invincible. Okay, so, Plasma Storm. I will be happy with a deathless run. And for such a normally easy game, deathless run is surprisingly hard to do. But there's some stuff that they forgot to have uh, scale by difficulty or something. I hurt him a little bit first because he gets even more deadly like that. Those are dragons. They have 500 point gems in their beats. Whatever. Not, I'm not entirely familiar with the particularity of the dragon in that, but you shoot him, you get 500 points. Can you collect the gems in 500 points? I don't know what they're at points about. I have a front weapon power up. Wedges. I don't think they give you any points. You can work with the jump. You just don't have to worry about it. And sometimes they can be pretty worse. So, in this episode, there's the path branches pretty significantly based on whether you get a secret level, which I'm not going to. This is not the boss. That guy just does that. So, you can either go through um, Dem War and Mistakes and yada yada yada. That's like, just flying around in deep space. Sort of like the mines level. There are little hallways, and if you run into the side of the hallway, you can go down the damage, so you don't want to do that. That guy drops a real thing. I don't know where I went from. That's probably a little early. So, in this level, if you want to go to the secret path, which in an ordinary place can be used because the items are better, you want to find all of the little bat things, guys with the blue gems on them, you want to find all of them and 
shoot them all, and then the last one drops and shoots them up for them. I do not want to do that, so I'm going to try to leave one alive. If I leave one alive, then, and it scrolls off the screen, then I'm out of the running. Especially with that spike. Yeah, there's no. Oh. They have a lot of fun with the multiple levels or the parallax layers. That just pops out from behind the mask and kept And at least in Open Tyrion, the stuff is all called Eastern, probably not the one from this. There was some sort of art called Did, I guess, stuff like this. Wow, since I looked it up. But they renamed it to Guys and Gorillas. There's this giant head. This is another bonus level, so I want to die. Oh, I know. Up now. I do not know. After this, there's going to be another bonus level that's kind of tricky to die on early on, especially since I went up over the ship so early. Maybe optimize, well, could optimize by not doing that, that just makes um, the second episode a little harder. And I want to have as much armor as possible, partially for guys, but mostly so I have a little more time to react if I run into it. Something and and in this level and only in this level, there are those ships that drop bombs, which you can see at the bottom left of the screen. Well, this level, only this level, and one of them. I don't know why they're there, but it's really, really nice to have those uh, bombs on gauge and stuff like that. In an ordinary playthrough, what you would do is get replace your plasma storm with atom bombs. And atom bombs, you know, they explode and segment into smaller... I have no idea why that's secret level order, but... Smaller things that still do a lot of damage and so on and so on, like asteroids. Everybody's playing asteroids. And it's like that, except they're all the ship, and your atom bomb is the asteroids. It's really convenient for winning through immense piles and stuff like this, which is what passes for a boss. And I need to see if I can do this optimally. Now, here's the first level where I might actually die. Eventually, those stupid bouncing balls are going to bounce from the top to the bottom, to the top, and so on, and so on. Three of them. The third one is a lot harder to kill than the first two, so I have to save all my flags and go for that one, and take out the first two with more firepower. Thankfully, they don't have many points. Here is the second one. And the third one might kill me. I hope it does. I would really like to get this deathless run. That's not the whole
Yeah, this level, aside from the this thing right here, which I want to kill as quickly. There we go. Yeah. Aside from that, it's just a matter of memorization. Oh, wonderful. My laptop thinks it's not plugged in. Probably because it, in fact, is not. Now that I have this ship, I have the repulsor. One of the two repulsors. The other one is a lot better. So, if I hold fire and wiggle left to right, I repel most bullets at the cost of a point of shield. Now, the fun thing about that is that if I just turn left to right, or right to left, The hell? I must have died there. And oh no, no, I died on Sojin in my uh, run yesterday. So my splits are screwed up, and I'm gonna have to watch the video later and fix it. That's okay. If I get this, this will be the first Deathless run on uh, speed run. Okay. It'll feel really bad for talking about how I don't remember what the site's called when I did it. But I only looked it up like. Uh, I think a day before the current world record was posted. It wasn't there, and then it was. So, one point. game is like 99% auto scrollers. Well, there's some stuff you can do to control the time, so okay, why not run it? But I was looking at um, looking at records for DOS games. And there are 
are surprisingly few people who run into this game. Like, I didn't have a game console growing up until the... I got a Game Boy Color really, really late in uh, the Game Boy Color's cycle and then a Game Boy Advance, but I didn't have a plug it into your TV console until the game. What I did have was a PC. So I didn't want to grab the GameCube, but it's fine. So, you know, I didn't grow up with uh, Mario or any of that stuff. Was... Oh! Geez. I think one of my schools had a. I didn't want to go that one. Sega Genesis with Kid Chameleon and Sonic 2 or some power engine or nothing else. level is a little annoying, but that's okay, because later on we're going to blow up the entire planet. We're going to let space go the entire planet. Might be solved. Yeah, I had uh, Kid Chameleon, Sonic 2, some Power Rangers game, um, Sega PC Collection, which also had Kid Chameleon, and then... That was pretty much it. Oh. Now wait for the ball. Yeah, these guys drop grapes, but grapes give you, uh, purple grapes give you 750 points, green grapes give you 1,000, but they're a little hard to kill, and you're going to do kill them usually in a position where it's kind of awkward. So, I don't worry about it too much. I'm not worried about points. As long as I can get to, uh, play up to the end of the round of level, but there it is, and I'm grabbing some popcorn from that. On this level, most of these spikes you can't do any damage to. Two of them you can, I just got one, and they drop uh, two, five, two points again. That's okay, but... See what I mean? If you run into something, you just take immense amounts of damage. This one's going to be over here. So. Run into something, you take immense amount of, amounts of damage, and it takes massive amounts of damage. I really wish the speedrun route for this game went through Sawblade. That's a fun level, and you get to turn your ship into the Hot dogs. But, how do these video games? Flying a giant super carrot through space, shooting hot dogs at uh, red bubbles. These days it's all like. Call of Duty and shit. I don't know what Call of Duty is. Counter Strike. I know they're all shooter games. I just don't know what realistic got back to real military weapons and what. Okay. After this one, I get the laser, which is good because this level is brutal. There's a bunch of stuff that tries to ram me. I'm gonna have to remind myself a couple of times. It's not in context, in the context of a level of very natural movement. But what I'm gonna have to do is 
the boss is going to show up and try to ram me and I have to go hide in the bottom right corner and just scream another one down. First many ships of that kind that flies around and then I just play them back to them. Then the boss is going to be one of those, but you can be. It only gets to go up one of those. This is just a level that you would have to memorize. I played a lot of it, so I have all of it down, but I don't know what it would be like to look at this for the first time. Oh! That giant thing that you can't hurt at all. It pulls you. You run into it just that way. This is a good game, despite that. <laughs> so you can't hurt it. You just don't have the firepower to kill him. Here we go. Go up there. I have to die here. Pretty hard to die off in one minute. All the things actually did put you out, and that was pretty good. Yeah, I saved two seconds. I don't know. The magnet ships pull you toward their horizontal location. That's really cool. So, get fun. It's also going to be, uh, weapon drop, but I'm leveled up enough that I'm probably going to get a special weapon in the head, and if that happens, I'm going to go to Even though I already have one. That's weapon repulsor is a lot easier than, uh... Oh, fuck off. I'm not even going to get that. We have the repulsor almost every time it crashes, but... Pro friggin' win? No. It's not even worth it. It spawns a couple of uh, snowballs. Fly in random diagonal directions. Yesterday's run I got the flare, which is a weird special weapon that turns the screen red. Hey, DGA, we have 256 whole colors now. There's fun power stuff. And spawns flares that... Spawns flares in random locations around the screen to do actually a pretty sizable amount. What? I've never seen... What? What was that? I've never seen that before. Lost some time now. Yeah, usually you just plasma and it drops. early enough. Maybe that's supposed to be an actually hard boss? <laughs> I don't know. This is a really good game, but it feels like it turned out to be going in sort of by accident. Like, 
preocupado com a forma que eu tenho na minha vida. E há muitos e muitos e muitos itens que eu tenho que fazer para fazer ou whatever. Most of the unique items are almost That's okay, I would tell you. But it's still a really good thing. And a lot of the reason it's a really good game is stuff that you're not going to see in the run. Like the Kid Chameleon secret level branching path thing, uh, Data Cube. You don't have to call them. Yeah, the data cubes, the secret levels, the oh crap. The absolutely immense difficulty in mode of the game and not even It's a pretty easy level, so I'm not too worried but calling it easy when I'm just rolling on it, you know, a little people are safe. No, I don't I don't want to tempt it to try to make things harder for me. Alright, so we're gonna blow the planet up where we do it. Usually branching paths are secret level orbs or secret level, huh, why is the stuff under that blown up rock blue? What happened to that slide? But this time it's uh, whether or not you kill the boss in one second. Don't do that, then he just explodes into a cloud of glitches, flies away, and the ancient Vika technology or whatever it is. It's been a while since I read the plot. Ancient Zika technology reactivates and turns the planet into a sun and a million and a half of the finest times in the galaxy are burned up. But it saves two minutes. So one and a half million of the galaxy best time. Half million seems like a really low figure for the entire planet. Like, I don't live in what I would consider a big city, but we've got more than a million and a half people in the general vicinity. But, like, we're talking a planet with lower population, tiny East Coast states. So maybe it's just science, and there's more of a population elsewhere. But the game doesn't tell you about the planet. Maybe that's how you have to do that. I don't know. Hide in the corner. Don't shoot unless I need to repulse her. That's actually kind of risky. I died on my uh, previous run because I thought I'd activated the Ultra and I actually didn't. Whoops. That is how you know. Yep.
So it's actually better, I think, to dodge from a stream of bullets and try to repulse them. And... minutes and 33 seconds ahead. I'm really worried about Underbelly. And kind of everything after Harvest. It's a really nice level. A really satisfying level. It's, you know, you have the theme and everything is just very rough Like, I just let all this down. Steve Reich's getting really into jazz and then making a good game about it. have the guitar solos, such as it is. Jazz has guitar solos, right? Well, sometimes it actually does. Okay, this class moderately used the level of episode 4. Only tricky part is the skiing. I've been in my other runs. I found out pretty quickly what skiing is. Like, I know there's some levels in this game that are references to other games that I've never played. But it kind of feels like putting something about ski food. Mr. President, no. This is kind of hard to do on a keyboard. I think all the other runners play on a mouse. Uh, play with a mouse. I use a keyboard because that's what I always did. My mouse is good. Also, it only had uh, two mouse buttons. You need a three button mouse to uh, fire your left and right. Whatever they're called. I forget. A tractor, really. I mean, I'll get it. RNG is not in my favor. I would like to get a repulsor, or at least, you know, flare or something. Soul is in line, even. I don't think it has very good damage output. But... Take it. more little ski freeze before this guy. And there's this little post end of level segment. anywhere, it's probably going to be here, and so far I had a good run.
There's a better ship that I could have gotten. One, two, three, four, two, and I gotta go up here in a hurry. We will set optimal in my uh, plasma storm. Okay. I didn't die. I can't put it down. Put the plasma map section. It's gonna go. It's gonna be invulnerable for this. Keep some lasers. It's gonna try to ram me. really hard to do. Like, that's the... Between the boss, um, there's little tiny yellow bullets do a lot of damage. And he fires them quickly and pretty I don't actually know very much about this game other than how to play it. And the level before it is really freaking hard. want to be in good condition for the boss because you're going to end up losing all your shield. If you want to save as much armor as you can. I think the thing to do there, uh, one of the routes such as they are that I planned out for this run is um, got the is using plasma, that one is using plasma on the first phase. Red cut cell. Okay, what? Alright, 334 there. I always forget about the bar levels. Probably actually trying not to get that. Just in case uh, the enemy's armor does scale by points, and also one of the optimizations that I didn't do but could have is uh, go up the high score table so that you don't get the you have a high score. Downside of uh, not going as much stuff as I do. Has a weird amount of Now, watch for a second. Yes. Alright, another multi phase boss. A storm on the first uh, phase again. There's the thing on the bottom disappears after that. Or those of not yellow bullets do an amount of damage. I wonder if this could be optimized with the Mega Cannon. I'm going to do Yeah, the right one, if you hug the screen, you don't get hit. The left one. Could have done that better, too, but it's okay. It's all good. Don't have as many storms here as I usually do, so I don't know how this is going to go. It's going to go like that. There is a tricky section in this level. This section is more yellow bullets. There's going to be 
disembodied flying eyes that just pop really quickly out from the corners of the screen and shoot yellow bullets at me. At this point, it would be kind of useful to have the um, special left propulsor because I could just sort of sit in the middle of the screen and tap fire really quickly. But I can't do that, so I'm going to actually have to try to dodge stuff. Usually the bottom of the screen is safe, but... And I'm past the trigger section now. So the rest of this should be... I don't anticipate any problems. Brainiac, I gotta watch out for the walls. That's about it. Um, I gotta watch out for the walls and not be trapped by the... There's another one of those blazing things. I don't know what those green arrows are for. What happens if you don't kill that eye? I've never tried. Got a lightning cannon. This is two phases. I don't know how I lost the second half. Like, within the realm of. Yep, balls. Might have noticed that I took a big hit there. But it's just playing into a wall. Thing. Sort of a recap level. Not really a recap level, but it, it's a recap of the lava and ice stuff, and also they threw in the um, like, that. little uh, little tiny mines. How big mines? Those are from one of the mini games. That we skipped. Accordingly, I don't know if it's likely. So here's uh, a little recap of the stuff we can do right there. That's a 256 color effect. And a uh, little down scale for the lost in the lava exit. And after this thing, it's going to be ice exit. You can see here with this speed run. But, uh, core boss is pretty easy on anything but the super ultra hidden difficulty levels. So, if you played this game as a kid, I'm sure you've seen that. I never saw the lava exit when I played casually. I didn't even know it existed until I read something about it on the internet, uh, a couple of years ago, and I was like, oh, wow level that I never saw before. I'm going to try to get to that. There's, uh, here's the boss. He's not Star Fox. You might think it's Star Fox, but I promise. It's not so holy, but it's like... It's far from Toho as you can get while still being space Whatever this genre is formally called. The point of the boss is you have to shoot through a little blood vessel or blood cell barrier in order to get to him. But, well, I do 
not want to exit to the main menu. <laughs> I lost the perfect run, uh, perfect up to that point. Yesterday, my first run. Right before the station. So I accidentally quit and forgot I could do the close from last level. Like, oh. Well, this one doesn't do very much damage to the guys, so I don't know why. Sometimes if you kill the left one, the right one just dies. I don't know why that happens either. I have to get in there. getting high scores. I want to flip it. Not a time save, I can flip like a jet snake. So, episode 5 wasn't part of the original tier yet. It was added on, I think, to Tier 2000. It's really short and really friggin' hard when you're not on easy mode. So we're gonna skip the hard level. And the first branching path, I want to go to the second option. As you saw with Botany, I kinda have trouble not menu by request. I'm going to remind myself of that over the second one. So this level is really hard on um, really hard mode, especially if you start at the beginning of the 5 Now I think, I think Tyrion is kind of like Doom or King 2 or whatever, where, yeah, first Doom. Where you're, it's designed so that you can play through from the start, and you get a good uh, shop gradient for the episodes of standalone things. Episode five is too short for that. Just jump straight into this. Well, you have one easy le level, and then it jumps straight into really freaking hard. Usually, there's a harder option and easier option. So. This is the harder option. Shit. That was... I'm not in good shape and I accidentally activated the little... Okay, good. Okay. Got none of that. I think playing these games while talking about them is a completely different skill from just playing the games. Not going to Commandus. Okay. I don't even want to know what that level would be like on TV mode. Probably really hard. Yeah, that stops the scrolling. It's too blank. And one of the problems with the speedrun route is there's a generator in secret levels, the Gravitron Pulse Wave, that you just don't have to worry about generator anymore. It has essentially an event. I don't know how well it would hold up with like level 11 lightning cannon, but you're not going to be playing with all of the lightning cannon. You're going to get into the laser. The Zika laser is technically stronger. I didn't get it because it's only in a secret level, but laser looks stronger. So, episode 5, you might have noticed the great thing. The plot of episode 5 is the thing line, the sort of god of the Tyrion universe. 
as um, his cult has cornered the interstellar fruit market. So, you have to go kill them all. Like, okay, how do we remain within the spirit of the game and top Bill Gates turns into a giant space nose? And you have to go hunt him down. Revenge or whatever. Ah, here's what we have to do. You get hijacked by aliens, and they send you off to kill God for cornering the interstellar free market. It's like... 1990s uh, video games. They were, they were a thing that existed. This level is also pretty hard. The exact same reasons that Deliani is hard, except there's stuff that comes at you from the bottom of the screen, and later on there's going to be one of those magnet chips from the fleet. There he is. There he was. Dream shifts are... One of the most deadly things in the game on uh, higher difficulty levels. Wow, only a minute long. That's it. Shorter level than I would have got. And this is a longer level than I would have got once I split up the split. So I probably did because I split on uh, starting the next level. And when there's no menu option, I just think it's easier to pick the keys at the same time, but when there's no keys, it's there. So my episode splits might be a little better. The last level of the game, especially with the rest of the episode, by being what it is, this is not really a challenge. The banana ships are dangerous, but other than that, I, look, we just have this one section with things that shoot horizontally that you can go around and Maybe there are more enemies on hard mode, I don't know. And time is when the episode one screen pops up. Nice. What a four twenty two. That's good. That's something I can see. 